Nothing like going back to where it all started. Oh, jeez, did I look rough. Oh, that hair. Oh, that beard. My god, my fat face. Things were definitely in a rougher place back then. But, least to say, we're finally here. <laughs> Hey guys, this is my review for Devil's Trap, the season finale of Supernatural Season 1. Holy cripe, am I finally happy to be here. I started this idea back in 2016 when I was living in 100 Mile. I thought I was going to be sentenced to that realm of isolation and madness for over a year. So, ergo, my thought of reviewing all of the old episodes. In the end, I didn't. So, kind of obviously really 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 delayed this three years later and we're finally at the season finale of supernatural season one and wow this is actually a really good episode directed by the late kim manners this episode takes all but the little bit of tension and build up that was in salvation and it throws it at you. While I was watching this episode, I was trying to view it as I did when I watched it for the first time, which kind of was the first time I ever watched Supernatural. Not knowing what's going to come afterwards, not knowing all the things that in this episode are going to be regurgitated over and over and over and over and over again in further seasons. Just viewing this as it is, it is good. And that last 12 minutes is hella good. The episode starts with the brothers going and finding Bobby, meeting Bobby for the first time. They find out about the Devil's Trap, they find out that demons use humans as meat sacks, and that they usually die, whether they get exercised or they get killed or whatever. And there is that morality aspect to it, the idea of freeing Meg, but also killing her at the same time. You see that Dean is hell-bent focused on saving his family, whereas Sam is still hell-bent focused on killing the demon. And these two are constantly at odds with each other in this episode. Sam actually going with his father's ideals while Dean is going against his father's orders and just wants to save his family. And we see that throughout the episode. And in the end, Dean's ideals actually come into play more and more and in the end, save their lives. After they rescue their dad by dressing up as firefighters and taking on some demons inside an apartment building, Sam is almost beaten to death, but then Dean uses up the bullet on the demon, goes straight through his head. And thankfully they didn't use the for the really slow thing that they had done in Dead Man's Blood. This thing was over and quick and done. By the way, there's actually a lot of really good little nip shots in this episode. A lot of really good camera work. Kim Manners is always someone to bring something dynamic into his episodes. And when he left the show, because he died, it was sadly missed because this guy had a great eye and he's just a great director because he had so much experience from the X-Files and he brought all of that experience over into the show. But then the brothers then find refuge at a building but it turns out that the yellow-eyed demon has been in their dad this whole time. This tension-filled 10-minute section, which is just nail-biting. As you see, Dean being slowly mind-cut up by the yellow-eyed demon, whereas Dean is pleading to his father for him to try and save him, whereas Sam is trying to use his psychic powers to move the gun, but it's not working. John takes hold. Sam shoots his dad in the leg. Sam is trying to force himself to shoot his father who's holding onto the yellow-eyed demon but Sam can't do it and the yellow-eyed demon goes. Before the yellow-eyed demon goes we find out a little bit more about his plan. We see that he has interest in Sam. We see that he's really good at getting under people's skin but then Dean does get under his skin by talking about how he wasted both of his kids. We find out that demons also had kids too. This kind of came back in later episodes particularly that one episode in season three but not so much as you would think. But then afterwards, as they're driving to the hospital, I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming, but it still surprised the shit out of me when they get hit by that truck. That's an amazing stunt sequence to be done in a television show. Bad Moon Rising by CCR is playing in the background. And the episode ends with a demon sitting in the truck driver's seat of the truck, whereas John, Sam, and Dean are absolutely wasted, covered in blood in the car, and it ended like that. What a goddamn way to end a season. No wonder I got hooked into this show. I hadn't watched anything almost prior to this episode, but just how it ended, that last 10 minutes, 
just the lore and all the cool aspects of this show made me want to watch it so bad that once the first season came out on DVD, I blew through it just in time to watch the second season premiere with my dad. And that's the road that started me and my dad on back in 2006. This episode is pretty damn good. There's only one segment I would say that's kind of not the greatest, is that's when Dean and Sam are having their first kind of argument about whether they should take the gun with them. It's a little odd how hammy he is because he does a better job later on in the episode. But just that's literally the only part I have a negative with. Everything about this episode is so well crafted. The writing is great from Kripke. The directing is great from Manners. The acting, sorry for that one part, is great from all of the three boys. Seeing Jeffrey Dean Morgan do his little turn of evil was pretty cool considering he would take a little bit more of those aspects and put them into the comedian as well as Negan. And I just really, really enjoyed this episode. I think that it's a great way to end the first season. It was a great way to get people hooked and keep them coming back to watching the show again. And I just feel that this is definitely one of the best episodes of the first season for sure. It's not as good as Bloody Mary still, but it is a 7 out of 7. Heck, I haven't given a 7 out of 7 to anything in a while, so... It's very nice to be able to give this episode the rating it deserves. Now guys, I asked for your comments about what you thought about Devil's Trap, so I'm gonna read those now. All right, so we're starting off with Karen C. I love the two ending scenes of Devil's Trap. In the cabin, a good series of intense moments with Dean realizing his dad is possessed, Sam having to choose whether to believe Dean or his dad, then yellow-eyed demon nearly killing Dean, and then Sam having to decide whether to shoot John. You think that's basically the end, and then bam! A masterful surprise with a semi totaling the Impala. Great cliffhanger going into season two. Yes, like I said, that's it was a pretty damn good cliffhanger. And just with the ending, the music, the shot, all fantastically done. We got another one here from Jim the Cat. Old Meg equals best Meg. And I too love every road so far scene, even if I hated the season. Yeah, they've been edited really well. Admittedly, actually, I do like this Meg. This was a really good Meg, but... I felt that the Meg that they introduced later on and then eventually died and surprisingly has not come back uh, was actually starting to grow on me, especially that's what I learned from the pizza man. And then finally from Octo Senpai, Devil's Trap was amazing. I remember watching it for the first time and the introduction of Bobby I felt was a great addition. The ending when I first watched it had me in shock and awe, as Chuck put it. Meg and Demon still felt like a threat back then. Yeah, I totally agree with you watching this. This is just all about like one damn demon and they make it seem like it's absolutely a life or death situation every time. And now they're just like flies and pests. Anyways, guys, that's it. Finally done. Life achievement, yay! I'm gonna do a season one overall review and then after that, we'll start with season two. Hopefully we'll do it a lot faster than three years. Anyways, guys, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for being along with me on this ride. I know it's taken a long ass time. I know that the people who are watching these consistently changed over time. Some people don't have YouTube accounts anymore, but for those of you who did stick with all the way through, thank you so much. God damn it, phone. And I plan to be more productive and a lot quicker with reviews in the future. And I almost forgot this one little thing. I actually saw it as I was putting this episode together and editing it. I've had this since literally the first season. I don't know where my dad found it. He might have found it in a magazine or something, but this is an actual poster for the season finale of the show. Where did you ever see this? I, I honestly have never seen anything like this for any television show before ever. The fact that my dad was able to find this and the fact that I've had this for so long now, like the paper is, it's got some holes in it. It's, it's, it's definitely seen some wear and tear, but uh, this thing's got dust on it too, Jesus. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a heirloom I have of the show, so it's pretty cool that I still have kept this for all this time. But on that note, also give me your comments and thoughts on what you thought of season one of Supernatural. That's gonna be a lot of them, admittedly, but I'm going to try and talk about as many of your guys' comments as I can when I do my season one retrospective. So make sure to leave your comments down below about what you liked about this episode, but primarily what you liked about season one and i will try and get through them as many of them as i can anyways guys thank you all for watching hope you have a good day i'll see you guys next time